Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So I'm doing this uh, video. It's an art journal prompt week. Let me see what week it is. Week number nine. It's done by Artsology. Uh, and the uh, prompt is Silly Face. So I'm starting off and I'm just going to draw one of my odd girls. Um, I haven't drawn one in a while and I just wanted to wanted to draw one on here. Uh, I did gesso the background um, with a little white gesso just because I'm using, you know, plain little uh, plain paper. And I'm just drawing in two different size eyes and a nose and a mouth. I love when you guys do odd girls and tag me. Um, I was tagged on my Facebook by somebody who did an odd girl and I just, I just love it. I love drawing these because you don't have to know anything in particular. Um, you know, you just kind of draw and have fun. And I'm drawing a little cat there. I don't know. I just wanted to. We'll see how this turns out. So now I'm going to paint white on her. Now I already have white gesso down, um, but I'm just going to paint over it. You can see I'm using a smaller brush than I probably should have. So you'll see I'll grab, I'll grab a different brush because it took a little time to smooth it out. And then I use my fingers, as you'll see in a second. If you've not uh, seen Artsology, she has a bunch of these uh, art journal prompts on her YouTube channel, as well as so many other fantastic videos. Please go check her out. Her link's down below. Now I'm just drawing the face and the neck and the legs, just putting it on there. And I'm using the color uh, Bambi Brown from Ceramicoat, and I'm just going in and tracing some eyes with it. One of my favorite colors. I love doing shading and all with it, but so I figured I'd draw, draw a little bit. I'm just drawing in the, you know, the nose, the mouth, all that. Little eyebrows, which as you see as I go on, will uh, it all change. I really liked her like this. Uh, once you can see, I'm adding a little bit of white in there just for some, you know, a little bit of depth and light. But, um, and then I go to town and I just take my brush and I'm just using that extra smeared brown and cam uh, white Bambi brown color and I'm using it to do the news and painting some red in on the lips which I do like four times as you'll see this is cadmium red deep hue but of course use any color that you have I was just grabbing what was near me and I mixed a little bit of white and then I'm going into the cheeks with some white over top of a little bit of that red just to make some pink cheeks. I never do pink cheeks. I don't know why I did them on this time, but I did. I'm using my favorite Martha Stewart color, which is green, uh, Granny Smith, not green apples, a Granny Smith, which I love. So I'm going in with that and some um, blue. I used Bluebird by Americana. And I'm just kind of mixing it in there a little bit, going around. I was going to put metallic and then I decided not to. <clears throat> so I'm just going to take my uh, marker and I'm going around those lips just to, uh, just a red marker, just to kind of line them a little bit better. I'm not worrying too much because I just <clears throat> am doing this for fun. Sorry, I have a cold again. All in my head, all in my throat, all in my nose, all in my ears. <clears throat> so if I cough and I'm sniffly, I'm sorry. Now I'm just taking some... Uh, Battleship is the color, and I'm doing her hair up in the air. That's how my hair is today, up in the air. I'm just pulling it around, no big deal. Now I'm going to paint with Burnt Umber. I'm going to paint the cat all brown, and I'm just going over everything. I don't care too much. This is just a little exercise for me to sit and play and, you know, not have to worry too much. And if you guys do the odd girl, please tag me. I love seeing them. Um, I love when you guys email me with them and you tag me with them. I just love seeing what you guys come up with. It makes me so happy. And I'm just using some golden Napathol red medium in her dress because I'm trying to use up all these old paints. And then I go over the lips again with red. So I said, I just keep hitting red, taking my rag and wiping it off a little bit. Taken black and I put a little pupil in the one and a bigger pupil in the other. That's my Faber Castell Big Pit pen. And this, this is the medium pit pen. And I'm just going in and tracing and gonna draw in on the bottom. 
and I'm going in with some more of the brown paint, just a little bit and pulling it around. I wet my brush uh, and it's going to blend that black marker. Although it's a permanent marker, it does blend while it's wet and I love it and I use it to my advantage. And I'm just going in more marker and making the eyebrows black, the nose, tracing everything, taking some of that color around the face to make it stick out more. More water and I'm smearing that down. Smearing it down, smearing it down, doing the eyebrows with a little water. And now you can see I'm pulling some more of that down and just, just smearing it all over the face. And you can see I'm just pulling it down and I just keep wetting my brush uh, a little bit at a time, going over the eyes, pulling some more of that brown out. I'm going to go down the neck and the legs, as you'll see in a minute. A little bit more brown marker on the legs. You can see I'm just pulling it down with my brush, using it as a watercolor, although it will dry permanent, you know, when it's done. Now I just have my pit marker and I'm drawing in my little cat face, drawing it around. Taking my white gel pen, kind of marking in a little bit, drawing some little lines, putting a little highlight in the eyes. Now I'm taking my fingers. I'm very cranky today, so you'll have to excuse me. I'm miserable. So I'm taking some red paint, some white paint, and I'm just smearing around with my fingers. Now I have some extender that I squirted down there to uh, make it smear a little bit better. Because I'm not going for too much of a cool background. I'm just going for a background. Got some orange, squirted it, doing the same thing. Smushing it here, smushing it there, smushing it everywhere. You can see no rhyme or reason. Hit go over the legs. Who the hell cares? That's just the way it is. Smearing up the bat, cat's butt. That's always enjoyable since they are, their butt's always in my face anyway. A little bit of my favorite greeny, uh, Smith Green. Smearing it in there. And I'm just going to take my big uh, pit pen and I'm going to put some, you know, curls in the hair and into the legs. I'm going to draw them out. I'm just tracing everything in black. You don't have to. I just like doing it sometimes. Tracing the hair, tracing the hair. Going to go around the face. There we go with the cat. And she's pretty much done. So thank you so much for watching and please leave me a thumbs up if you like what I do. And please go check out Artsology. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never